Hi everybody and welcome. This is Lexi at the Podunk Paper File and now we are going to be making some um, some of our interactive folds for our junk journals and we're going to work on uh, a page. So this is what we're going to come up with, okay? We're going to do something that folds out like this. We're going to do something that folds out again and something that folds up like this. All right, so this is what we're going to put together today. And I'm gonna, so I did that on the very first page, the very front page of the book. Uh, there was a lot of trial and error last night, so I'm gonna show you how to do it, um, but I'm gonna do it, you know, maybe in the middle of the book or something so that uh, it'll feel like there's variety, okay? So let's jump to it. Um, now here are the measurements of what you're going to need to cut. Um, you'll have a fold out. You'll need to cut two of them. They need to be nine inches tall by six and a half inches wide. A fold up, so that's, all right, this is one of the fold outs, and then this is one of the fold outs here. This is the fold up, and it's five and a half by nine. And we have another fold out, which is this one, and it needs to be a bit smaller. So this one's nine by six. And then our pocket is six and a half by five and a half. And the background that we're going to be cutting is going to go right here behind this pocket. So before I put the pocket down on the next one, I'm gonna put the, a piece of paper here before. So let's jump in and I'll show you how it's done. I'm gonna start by cutting all of my, my, uh, cardstock. So what I'm using is 65 pound black cardstock. Um, Joann's was having a sale today, two for five. Two, fifth, so two packs of 50 for five dollars. And so they're 250 a piece. Um, yeah, stealing it. All right. So I need to make two that are six and a half by nine. So I'm going to grab two sheets and I'm going to start with them. This is going to be nine inches long. Can you see? Okay. Nine inches long or tall by six and one eighth of an inch wide. Six and one eighth of an inch. So six and an eighth. I'm saving all of these. I'm gonna find uses for them later on. I just haven't gotten that far yet into the project, all right? So these two are the two fold outs and I'm actually gonna write right on them. Uh, I'm gonna write big fold out because um, because why you ask? This will be covered later on. I'll be covering this with something so I'm okay with writing on it okay so now I've got those cut out I need a fold another fold out for the second one and that one's gonna measure nine by six nine by six and this is the second the small fold out now we need a flip up and that one's going to be nine by five and a half. Nine by five and one half. This is our fold up or flip up or whatever. Well, I'm going to call it a flip up. Flip up. Okay. All right, now the last thing that we need to cut, well, we need to cut two more things, okay? We need to cut our pocket, and I'm hoping this is gonna be big enough, so it needs to be five and a half. Oh, perfect. So that's five. So this is about five and five eighths, and I'm, I'm fine with that measurement. It's gonna be fine. You could cut it down five and a half, no biggie. By six, right? Oh, five and a half by six and a half. So I need to trim this down to six and one half. And this is our pocket. And now the last thing that I need to cut is the background piece. 
So my background piece is gonna be five inches tall by five and five inches wide. And the reason I did arrows like that is in case there was something that needs to be oriented this. I mean, you could go either way with this, but I really want it to be this way because I think it looks nice like that. It's the only reason. <laughs> okay, so it needs to be five and five eighths inches wide. So five and five eighths. by five inches tall. Okay, and that's our background. Now, okay, the next thing, our next step is that we need to start scoring things because we got to have a place to glue them into our books, okay? So what we're going to be scoring are these edges right here okay so there's a score for this page there's a score for this sorry there's a score for this page and so on okay so let's make our score marks we will not need to score this so just put this off to the side for our pocket we're going to score three sides and um <clears throat> we're going to do a half of an inch of a for a score okay we're going to do this side, this side, and this side. So we need to do the sides that measure six and a half, and then we need to do one of the sides that measure to five and a half. Now for this, okay, so this is the small fold out. We're gonna be folding it this way, like this way. Um, I'm just gonna do one side. Honestly, it doesn't matter what side, but I'm gonna keep my letters where my orientation would be, if that makes sense. So in order for this one to be the right direction, it has to be on this side. But um, if I wanted to turn it upside down, it would confuse me. So that's the only reason that I do it that way, okay? Now we got our big fold outs, and one is gonna fold to one side, okay? Now the other one is going to fold to the opposite side. So if I flip this upside down and I do my half inch score, so this one's gonna fold out this way, this one's gonna fold out this way, and this one will fold out away from this one, okay? So confusing and fun, I know. Okay, now this is our flip up. So since it's going to be going up like this, I want to put my half inch score mark on the top, okay? Now, I need some skeezers. There they are, woohoo! Now we're going to trim the corners like this. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect here. I'm just reducing bulk, um, that's all I'm doing. And here we go, oh jeez. Shaky. I've been so shaky lately. I don't know why. Um, I did go to the doctor and have blood work done, and it's not anything like that. It's not like hypoglycemia or anything like that. Um, they say I'm anemic, but like that shouldn't cause you to shake, right? So I have no idea what it is. Hopefully it's not something serious, you know, but I doubt it. I feel like I'm in pretty good health. All right. So... I'm cutting on the score lines just to reduce a little bit of that bulk, okay? That's all that I'm doing here. So I cut this corner where the pockets intersect and up here, um, anyway, okay? So that's that's where I trimmed everything was on the, the score marks. Now we just gotta glue it into our book. So this is the fun part, okay? I'm gonna raise you up so you can see what I'm doing. And my desk is a mess, dude. Uh, this is Diet Pepsi, mm. my favorite. So I left the lid off this last night, that's not good. Cause if, eh, yep, it's nice and sealed shut. So if that ever happens to you and your glue bottle gets sealed to the point where you can't unclog it, 
um, get some boiling hot water and let it soak in there for a few minutes. All of the glue that's on the inside will uh, will kind of just go away basically because it is water-based so it'll melt or whatever it does and turn to pretty much nothing in your water and it'll clean it. So hopefully that's good enough. All right, now I've made my score marks. I am going to um, I'm going to fold on my score marks that I've made. And I'm going to get out my bone folder. I want everything to be nice and crispy. And lay nice and flat. You can see me, right? I'm just going to pull you down just a little bit cuz I tend to work down in this area. So I like need to I need you to see what's going on here, okay? <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. I can't even wait. All right, so this is the big fold out this way. So we got to fold it in towards the letters. All right, and now here's my small fold out. And again, folding in towards the letters like this. And here's another big fold out and we're gonna fold it this way towards the letters this time. And this is our flip up. Flip up. I was going to abbreviate it, but if I abbreviated it to FU, it would sound terrible, even though it means flip up. And we all know, you and I know, but other people might not know. So I've got to be careful. <laughs> all right. Now, I'm going to show you the order that we got to glue everything in because this doesn't go in first. I know it's weird, but, and it doesn't go in last. So it's going to be an odd order. Okay. We can even number these if you want. So, eh, it's fine. Okay. I'm going to go towards the center of my book. Okay. So this is one of my pockets. It's got one of the, yeah, this is one of my pages right here. And I am going to glue. So this, I have my flap right here. I'm going to put the glue on this side of my flap and I'm going to lay it down and glue it to my page like that. And this is the fold out that goes this way. So, uh, I'm, I hope I'm explaining this. All right. I, I had a friend tell me that like she got lost in all the measurements and, uh, sorry. <laughs> these are really fun, but there's something I remember when I was kind of learning how to make these, I had to watch somebody do it a lot of times before, and I had to do it along with them and make a lot of mistakes before I understood it myself. So don't feel bad. It is hard. This is probably not for a beginner, but I think anybody could do it in my opinion. All right. So I am putting this. I'm going to try and put it right up against the edge of the page. Now I didn't quite get it there, um, but that's okay because it'll still be able to fold like that. I just, I, I have enough space. Okay. So I have a dry baby wipe, just wiping the glue off. All right. Now we need our other big fold out to go next. And it is going to go on this same page right here. Okay. This is the first page we're working on. We're going to put this on this side of the page. So I need to put glue on this side of my tag. Oh, the garbage man's here. <sighs> you know, real heroes don't wear super capes. They don't wear capes. They're awesome and they wear not capes. All right. So now again, I'm going to leave enough space that this page is going to be able to move like open and close without it hindering that uh, hinge there like that. A dry baby wipe just gets that glue out of the way. Okay. Now we got our two big fold outs. There's one on this side and there's one on this side of just the single page. All right. Now we're going to grab our small fold out. And our small fold out is going to go on this page on this big fold out this side, or you could put it on this side. 
I'm gonna put it on this side because I made one on the other side already. So I'm upside down, but that's okay. So you could you get to pick which side you want to do this on. Because this and this measure out the same, um, you can flip, you can switch sides with the flip up and the small fold out, okay? So here we go. Trying to line this up right with the edge of the page, like right on the edge. That way, because of the way that I uh, measured it out, that way there will be enough space between the fold, the crease there, for it to uh, stay in, in place. Okay. Okay, so, so far on our page here, we've got a fold out, a fold out, a fold out, now we need our fold up on this side. Our flip up, flip up. And just gonna put this, I'm gonna put it like on this corner. I'm just gonna line up those two corners right there. Um, Cause it, it, I could also center it, but I'll just line up the corners right here and right here just to square it up. You want to square up? <laughs> just kidding. Like I'm even tough at all. I'm not. All right. Okay. So here we are. One, 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 one. All right. Now we need to put the pocket down, but, but don't put the pocket down yet. Put that to the side. We're going to put our background piece down first. And so I'm gonna glue that and then I'm gonna put my pocket on. So I actually think I'm gonna trim that down about an eighth of an inch. Yeah, so what did I measure it to? Five and five eighths. So maybe it just needs to be five and a half. Okay, getting you back out. I'm gonna trim it down just a bit, just a smidge. So this way I can put my background in there and then I can put my pocket over the top and it looks like it was supposed to be in there, okay? Eventually I'll be adding paper like this to all of these pages and pockets and stuff, um, but I like to get the basic construction down before I start decorating it. And, uh, but the background, if you don't do it, if you do the pocket first, it's kind of a pain um, to get it into underneath there. And I learned that the hard way on the first page. That's okay though, that's okay. This has been a fun process for me. I'm learning, um, and once I get to a place where I figure out what everything's doing, I try and show you guys. Um, I hope this is helping any of you. Um, I hope it is. Okay. Now, Art Glitter Glue is what I'm using today. It is a clear white glue. It is water-based, and it's permanent glue. Um, it grabs fast, like in the blink of an eye, it's grabbed. You have no time. <laughs> so once you put it down, that's where it's gonna land pretty much. Sometimes you might have a couple of seconds where you can kind of slide things around, but that's about it. That's if you're lucky. I don't get lucky that much. Well, in the art glitter glue department, sometimes I do better with uh, Fabrifix. That stuff is bomb. But it takes longer to dry, so if you need more time, Fabrifix. If you can do it quick and you want to get it over with, our glitter glue. Glue, glue, glue. Alrighty. And there is my cute little pocket. Okay, now it's okay that the words are there. They will be covered later on. I'll be taking other pieces of scrapbook paper and adding it to these little spots, okay? 
so they'll be covered up the only thing you'll see is the border of the black all right and there we have it we have another interactive page it's a fold out it's a fold out it's a fold out again it's a flip up and a pocket a pocket right here see our pocket pocket, 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 pocket. all right so if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. I will be um, making this book along with you guys, making fun, interactive, different page layout ideas. Um, this is the same measurements, just a different layout from uh, what we just did. And um, yeah, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. You just look up the Podunk paper file. Um, and then you can also find me on Etsy. Um, so with COVID right now, it's hard to ship out of the country. Um, international shipping has been kind of insane. So I live in America. So if you're out of the country, you may not be able to see my Etsy shop. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish I could. It's just with COVID, shipping has been really difficult to ship overseas and things like that. And, uh, but maybe, maybe if you reach out to me, I can try and do something for you. I just, I don't know how it works on Etsy and I don't want to make any mistakes. And so um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you later.